So not every spur is created equally. Spur length is 100% based on leg length. So whenever I'm trying to fit the proper spur to my riders, I want to make sure that my jockey has a chance to use every part of their leg without that spur interfering. The spur is put on that horse to enforce what the leg is telling them. The spur should never make contact with a horse's belly until the leg has had every opportunity to send the signal that we want. So what I'd like for you to notice here is that as Leslie keeps her heel down and wraps her leg around, she can get all the way to her Achilles tendon and that spur not touch. So when I want to use my spur, I want my leg to wrap all the way around and then I actually want to have to lift my foot up against it so that I can continue squeezing pressure all the way down my leg and then physically put the spur on. I see so many riders that have short legs like this and as they're riding around the spur touches before their leg ever touches. That's backwards. That's, that's like enforcing a cue that you've not asked for. So many people don't take into consideration that the size of the horse will dictate some of that spur length also. So if I have a horse that's really full in the rib cage and my leg is hanging up here and my spurs touching them every time and I'm not asking for it, I need to shorten that shank. If I have a horse that's really light through the rib cage and my feet are touching underneath them, then there's a chance that I need a longer spur shank to help me get up and make that contact without having to change my leg position. So there's a use for a long shank spur and there's a use for a short shank spur. But the number one thing a person has to pay attention to is how that horse is responding to the leg pressure all the way down to your foot. I don't ever want my spur to come into contact unless I have 100% signaled it with my foot. I do not want to accidentally kick them. There's no possible way that you will improve your horse if you said, well, I didn't mean to do that. It was an accident. Horses don't understand that was an accident. Forgive me, let me start over, okay? Their whole livelihood depends on me releasing when they give.